I just wanted to do a quick reminder for anyone who thinks that looking around for yellow stickers, looking around for deals, using loyalty apps, um, doing surveys for gift cards isn't worth the effort for what you save. And I will do the usual and put all the savings up, put up the price that it would have cost, how much I saved. So first of all, I bought my fair trade bananas, which I like. Uh, 78p for those. They were doing bags of greens for 59p. They were 75p. They were also doing egg noodles. They were 140 down to £1.14. But by buying those three things, I had spent £2.51 and I bought it on Nectar Points, so I only paid a penny for those three things. As normal, I will do the calculations there so you can see what the retail price would have been if I had bought everything at full price and how much I saved by buying everything on yellow stickers. As usual, information up there to show what I would have spent if I had wasted my money on full price and how much I've saved. Uh, what did we spend today? Today I spent £4.61 and I will do the usual and put the information up there to show what I would have paid if I bought all this full price and what I've saved by buying it on yellow stickers. And I've had people say this to me, I, I can't be bothered with that, or this isn't worth the effort on the savings. So I've just had a look at my end of October food budget, because I keep everything on a spreadsheet, and that's how I know how much things are, and how much I'm saving, and how much I'm spending. So I spent, in October, on food, £27.37. And that's because I utilise yellow stickers and I shop at the right times when you can get yellow stickers when they're discounted, like evenings. And it will depend on where you live and what type of shops you have. But generally, evenings after about 6 o'clock, first thing on a Sunday morning, uh, don't shop when everyone else shops because that's when everything will be full price. I also utilise uh, Nectar Points and I do that by using two survey companies. Uh, called e-rewards and nectar canvas. So I paid 7p for all of that thanks to the nectar points and I will put the the, um, the logos for both those nectar point survey sites. Uh, one of them you just um, you just get on an app I think and the other one is through Sainsbury's it's called nectar canvas and I earn nectar points and those go onto my nectar card and then I can spend them basically on food for free which is fabulous because that is helping to really save me some money sometimes there are other services like I've just had one this last week that paid me seven pounds and I could choose the gift card that I wanted and I chose Morrison's because I shop a lot on Morrison's so not only did I get seven pounds free from what spend on Morrison's it was also discounted food so the value of that food was full price was worth a lot more than the seven pounds that I paid for it. It was probably triple that. And some of the shops I do, I think I did one the other day, it was something like 26 pounds uh, and I saved something like 18 pounds on it. It is worth it. And as long as you aren't a picky eater, as long as, you know, I, I just go in there on the days that I go. So I go Sunday morning and I go Tuesday evening. And those are the only two days when I regularly go because it fits my schedule. And I go in, I go straight for the, the fresh veg because there's always loads of fresh veg available and I eat tons of fresh vegetables and then I go, I, I will go to the end of the bread counter, uh, like the, the packaged bread aisle because that's where they put all the eggs that are discounted and there might be something else that I just, oh do you know what, I really fancy uh, a bag of bagels and they're only 30p but I won't buy stuff full price. And then I go to the chilled reduced counters uh, where they have the cupboards with the, the fridges and those are usually stuffed to the rafters with food that's about to expire. And then I also go down the aisle where the baking ingredients and the oil is because there's one shelf in the middle on one side that is for the reduced shelf stable stuff like tins packets things like that and i always go and take a look and sometimes there'll be absolutely nothing there hasn't been a lot lately at all and then sometimes you know you can't fill your bags up full enough with so much of it so it is worth it and then anything that i can freeze i freeze and that might be different meat products 
it uh, I blanch and freeze a lot of the vegetables that I get so like if I buy like six broccoli I will chop up five of them and put them in the freezer because I might not see broccoli on the shelf again you have to think ahead and you have to plan ahead and you have to if if you if you don't cook from scratch if you don't home cook this none of this will be any good for you That's it. 12 mince pies ready to go. That's what look, lunch looks like today. You don't see a lot of ready meals. You don't see a lot of tinned things. Anything that's like ultra processed, that's full of preservatives and full of chemicals that's designed to make it last as long as possible, you will unlikely get on a reduced counter. It's the really perishable stuff, so the fresh meat, the fresh fruit, the fresh veg, that's the stuff that gets remaindered. And you might need to experiment for a while to find out which evenings or which mornings or which days are best for you in terms of discounts. It's not the same for every shop. So my Morrisons tends to be Sunday morning, Tuesday evenings are really good, but I have been in on other evenings and found the same because particularly where I have fresh counters with fresh meat, the deli counter, the, the bakery counter which where all the ovens are and they make things from scratch, that perishes at the end of the day and that has to be gone. So you, if you are really local to your shop and your um, your situation allows, you might be able to pop in there at 6 o'clock every evening of the week and pick up three or four bargains and that'll keep you going. But it does require effort. Saving money requires effort. And supermarkets um, in that way are quite predatory. They prey on the fact that they, they, they predate on the fact that people want everything ready done. They want their salad ready chopped. They want their meat ready cut and seasoned. And if you want those sorts of things, you're going to have to pay more for them. So I never buy stuff like that. I can buy a head of lettuce. I know how to chop up a piece of lettuce, for goodness sakes. Um, I can make an apple crumble or a pie or whatever, or a, a casserole, or a stir fry. I can do all that from scratch. You just need the basic ingredients and a knife and a frying pan or a bowl or whatever else it is. It's not difficult. These are skills which will help you save money. So, as I said, this month, my food bill for me and allowing me to roll some stuff on into the freezer for next month, because who knows, next month might be a lean month. Always plan ahead. I pay £27.37 for my food this month. And it's not a small amount of food. The retail price on all that food I bought, had I bought it at full price on the shelf, would have been £110.61p. And I paid £27.37. Don't tell me that shopping around and looking for bargains isn't worth it, because it really is.